Good evening, everybody. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I got to pet a lot of cute dogs at work today, so I'm in a very good mood. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. Hi, Azari. Lovely to see you here tonight. All right, um, so I don't have a whole lot of time to stream tonight, so I'm actually going to jump into it real, real quick here. I'm actually going to hop over now. All right, so uh, tonight we are playing Uns <laughs> Just Spilled Beer All Over Your Desk. Wow, we are off to a good start. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, real quick here. Um, we're going to be playing Unsighted. Uh, this game was a gift for me from Azari in chat, so thank you again so, so much for getting me this. Uh, I know next to nothing about this game. I know next to nothing about this game. I know it is about uh, lesbian robots, among other things. I know that there is kind of a time limit on the entire game. And normally I'd be kind of iffy about that, but I think it kind of goes against the spirit to turn that off. So I will be playing with the time limit, which means we may not succeed. Um, I did play it a little bit earlier today, just enough to familiarize myself with the controls. Um, played maybe an hour, but we're going to be starting fresh. And I have no idea what to expect other than that. So it's going to be interesting. So we're going to start ourselves a new game, and your difficulty options are Explorer, which uh, is basically easy mode. It turns off the time limit and I believe makes a couple other things easier. Uh, Action Girl, which is the intended level, um, and Robot Apocalypse, which I don't even think I can select yet. It's grayed out. Uh, crushing time limit to smarter enemies that will destroy you. Um, Honestly, like, the combat difficulty I would be into, the time limit on everything on that is what kind of turns me off to that. So even if we could select it, we wouldn't. We're going to go with Action Girl. And we're just going to jump right in. this is us and we're in kind of a bad state but there's a glowing syringe over here so this is obviously obviously something we should be putting inside of us immediately and now that we are uh, slightly less dying we can explore This is some kind of automaton lab. It's kind of overgrown. You can't go through those plants. Old X to run. I did, I did play this a little bit to familiarize myself with the controls, but because I'm not using an Xbox controller, they're not actually going to match up with my controller. Like, I actually press Y to run. So, I might make some flubs here and there. Don't expect me to be a god gamer. No, I never am. Click the password to continue. Well, uh... No, that didn't work. Try a System Shock reference. Nope. I was hoping for maybe an Easter egg there. But no dice. Weapons Research Room. And that looks shiny. the Iron Edge. Equip it in the pause menu. Now, hey, Juck. Welcome, welcome. 
something about this game that I find really, really cool is that any weapons you equip are actually reflected in your uh, character sprite on the right there, no matter what they are. Um, I got two weapons when I tried it out earlier, and every single one modifies your sprite. Which is a really neat, neat touch. And now that we've got the sword, we can attack, we can cut things, collect materials, because this game has a crafting system. And now it sounds like things have broken out. We still don't know the password for down below. attacks. You get a little pop. Yes, I know there's a path off to the left. I'm going to go back up here and break everything. Oh. Doesn't seem to be much of interest in here. Except at least they showed you where all the robots are coming from. They all broke out of containment. And this is the doctor's room, so... Yes, there is something over there that's important. Memories from a forgotten time come rushing back to you. up, my dear. We need your help. Yes, that does look important, but over here, there's boxes to smash. Doctor's Log, N095. Today was such a great day. Raquel and Alma are finally getting along nicely, and they're helping rebuild the city from the last human attack. Alma is a fast learner, and I'm certain she'll be crucial to ending this conflict. I hope we can teach her more than strategies and fighting. There's so much more she's capable of. By the way, the new elevator password is 1995. I better not forget it like the last time. Having to use the air ducts to get out of the lab definitely wasn't comfortable. So we've got an elevator password now, assuming it wasn't changed since then. Although, the idea of being able to get in and out through the air ducts is, air ducts is kind of intriguing. I wonder if that's going to come into play later. Attention! Unidentified biomass detected inside the perimeter of the lab. All personnel evacuate to the elevator immediately. Okay. 
Hi! Oh, Jesus Christ, he's fast. Yes. Hello, I am Big R Many Eyes. Shit. Insert the password to continue. Thank God it slows down time. Access granted. Welcome back, Doctor. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. This was, was about as far as I played when I was testing out the controls, and I did not expect that motherfucker to be that fast. Help me! Hey, you over there! You look so strong! Help a poor fairy bot out over here! Thank you, that was rough. That monster got the best of me and I ended up stuck on this pile of debris. Huh. Wait a second. You're not unsighted? Who are you? Uh, who am I? Raquel? Raquel? Is this your name? No. I think it's who I'm looking for. Hmm. Raquel. The name does sound familiar to me. Why don't you come with me? I'm going to the Crater Tower. I'm supposed to meet Vanna there. Yeah, that's not an ominous obelisk or anything. Vanna is super smart and strong. There's nothing she can't do. I'm sure she'll be able to help you. And she probably knows who this Raquel person is. Uh, I guess. Also, getting there by myself would be hard. This place is crawling with unsighted. I'll mark the location of the crater tower on your map. Let's go. The game is, if nothing else, extremely pretty. I will say that. I'm a sucker for good pixel art. And, uh... Yeah, this has some really good fucking pixel art. So, one thing I do know about this game is, first of all, it is very hard. Like, even these basic bitch enemies deal two damage to me. Um, you have basically an Estus Flask. It's a one-time use, full heal, and it recharges as you defeat enemies. So, now I'm back at full health, but until I defeat a bunch of enemies, or I think, I think one boss will recharge it, I won't be able to use it again. Also, you can jump. Like, that actually does carry you over gaps and stuff, and if you run while jumping, you can go further. Alright, so it wants me to go up, so of course we're gonna go left. Industrial sector exits. Hmm, I don't think this is the way to the crater tower. No, it's not. Also, I can't do anything here. It's a terminal. Let's activate it. You can equip cheer chips at the terminal. 
Why are you looking at me like that? You don't remember what chips are? Oh, here, take these. Hey, strength chip. A health chip. Okay, cool. You can now equip these chips at the terminal. Let's do it. You can equip your chips here and also extend your chip slot's capacity. Neat, huh? So we're going to equip these... So I can buy more slots, that's basically how you level up. Uh, I don't have enough for it right now. But we have enough to equip both of these, which is great. And then we can recharge, which also refills our uh, our plasma syringe. I'm probably going to end up calling that thing the Estus Flask so many fucking times. Recharge complete. Nice! It's always good to equip as many chips as you can. You can find new chips everywhere around Arcadia. You never know what effects they'll give you. And if you want to equip more chips at the same time, you can go to a terminal and upgrade your chip slots. Now let's keep going. So I could go up and go closer to the tower, but honestly, this over here looks kind of sus. Hello. Got a stamina chip. Equips, increases total stamina. You know, I think I actually want that more than the health. I did not find that my first time. So, yeah. Is that way. I don't think you'll be able to cross that gap with your current equipment. Let's look around. Maybe we can find something that'll help you. Anytime you see something with these scratch marks, um, I'm assuming that means you can push it. Because you can, you can totally push this thing around. Pixel. Need a key for that. But I can hop over here. I think I know what to do with this. Okay, so I can push that. This onto here. Hit it again to go up. This over here. And then I can run and jump. Got a spin attack chip. Increases spin attack damage by 50%. Nice. So spin attack, it's Legend of Zelda spin attack. And this is where it's supposed to teach you about these switches, but if you know how they work, you can do that other area.
Oh, okay. So these guys are a big pain in my ass, apparently. I'm likely going to die. Anyways, standard Dark Souls rules. I have to go back there and get my money now. I don't lose my items, though. That's not the attack button. Okay, there's my money. Much better. There. There's a little puzzle here. Hit that to drop those. That drops that but raises that. Okay, so that one doesn't get to the same level as the chest, so I think I have to put a pillar on that one. Uh, okay, I see what I gotta do. Stand on this when I hit it. Yo, vampire chip. Heals by one life point for every three enemies defeated. Uh, knowing the way I play, that's probably going to go on and almost never come off. Honestly. to hold objects. You cannot attack while holding objects. Your attack button instead throws them. And we get a key for our trouble. Hey, a key! Maybe there's a door we can unlock with this. Let's check our map. You can view the map by pressing select. There is, in fact, one. But we have to go through a couple enemies that we haven't defeated yet. I'm going to see if maybe we can take an alternate path back. It looks like... Oh, no, we can't. We can't hit that switch. But we got to go back the way we came in. Which means all those enemies I left alive I'm going to have to take out. Shortcut there. Uh, 
Don't you fucking dare. Alright. So, unequip the strength chip. And give me the vampire chip. And recharge me while we're at it. So now every three enemies I kill, I get to heal. So hopefully that'll increase my staying power a little bit. Spin attack's pretty good. You can hit these to refill your plasma syringe, but right now my syringe is full, so I don't need it. It's kind of tough to see, but it says 200% on there, so it can give you two full charges. Press B at the right time to stun enemies. That's a parry. And from what I know, this game is very parry heavy. Like that. And after you stun them, you can do a critical hit. Weapon 2, Blaster. And now she has gun. Right trigger or left trigger to fire, right stick to aim. Wasn't there something down here I could do with the blaster? Yes, hello. items and money. What am I doing? Stand on it. So, you don't have limited ammo in this game, but you do have to reload. And it has an active reload system, where if you time your reloads, it'll continue your combat multiplier. Which is not earth-shattering, but I suppose it's something you can mess with. Old crumbling door. Big enough impact might destroy it. But it looks like he's telling me to go across there, but I want to try to go inside the church. Okay, well, I can't go inside the church. Let's check and see what's up here. If you desire to keep living, leave an offering. I can give a hundred, five hundred, a thousand, or say goodbye. Uh, we're not going to give him anything yet. We can return to this area later. It's a semi-open world game. But we're just going to leave. Hey, you can hit fire away switches with your blaster. Try that one. Let's see what happens. Thank you, as yet unnamed fairy bot. It doesn't mean I can jump, though.
So, towers to the right. There's more to explore. Can't get that, unfortunately. wasn't a perfect. And that was an entirely miss. You. I will take whatever this is. chip removes the stamina cost for running hello thank you yeah and that's why if i want to reload there we go it's much quicker if you actually time it We'll come back there. I want to visit the terminal real quick. Hello, terminal. Let's get a new chip slot, first of all. And we've got stamina, vampire. And we'll do the runner chip as well, because that way I can go fast and just run past everything. Tower. I bet Vana's around here somewhere. Yeah, no, that's not ominous at all. Hey, Warhorse. Sorry, I missed you coming in. How you doing tonight? Busy doing Pokemon stuff? You know, I still haven't got the new Pokemon. I kind of want to, even with the glitches. Uh, Tinkaton is competing to be my new favorite. Here we are, Alma. This meteor is the source of anima, the energy that gives all automatons consciousness. Because of this, you're able to think, feel, and exist. The humans, however, think they can use the meteor for their experiments. They don't know how anima works, and yet they crave it like hungry animals. They get their hands on it, you all will be subjugated to their will, and might not even be able to react. That's why I created you. We have to stop them, for the sake of all automatons. Let's go back to the village for now. You cannot be late for your sword training with Raquel. Kel? Afraid, Raquel. Don't worry, Alma. I'll be here for you. No matter what. Hey, you! Snap out of it! What was all that about? I got paralyzed there for a moment. Ugh. I think I remember it. Name. It's Alma. Oh, well, that's about time. Nice to meet you, Alma. I'm gonna get you checked by a mechanic. Let's find Vana and go home.
Hello? Ah, watch out behind you! I'm pretty sure you can beat those guys, but I'm pretty sure it ends to just a but thou must situation. Kind of like if you play Demon Souls, you can beat the first demon, the, what is it? Vanguard. You can beat him, and you get some rewards for doing so, but you still die, so. Here she is, Vana, let's help her. And we got... Proper fucked up. She's gonna wake up any time now, huh? I'll be waiting downstairs. Roger that, Vana. Okay, this is my favorite character. It's a short stack mechanic. What do you want? I'm a girl of simple tastes. Oh. There you are. Welcome home, Alma. Girl, you were in such a bad shape when Vana brought you here. I can't believe we managed to fix you up. I don't think you remember me, right? Sorry. Ah, oh, don't worry, dear. Welcome back to the Gear Village. Not as lively as it used to be, but I'm trying to survive around here. Since you and the doctor disappeared, the humans took over control of the meteor. Man, it's been a mess. Those rogue automatons you probably saw in downtown, they're the unsighted. If we don't act quickly, we'll all go unsighted, too. Well, sorry. I don't want to overwhelm you. It's fine. Oh, and also, you were muttering her name in your sleep. Kel. You remember her, don't you? Yeah. I can't remember much else. I just feel that have to be with her. You will, dear. Why don't you go downstairs? Vana wanted to talk to you. She might not show it, but she really misses you. Oh, never seen you around here before. Mm. I'm BB42, the local blacksmith. Mm. Olga created me to be an expert on weapons upgrading. I'm not going to do the birds anymore. That's annoying. You want me to upgrade your weapons? I I can afford to upgrade the Iron Edge. Uh, which is something that is... I really ought to consider. But I'm also really close to getting another chip slot. And there's multiple weapons, so I might skip that for now. Yeah, I'm going to skip that for now. Hey there, Alma. Nice to see you. Seems like you don't remember how to craft items, am I right? Here, let me help you with that. First, take this blueprint. Now all you need to do is get the correct materials listed in this blueprint and use them at a crafting table. I have some more blueprints available if you want to take a look. Could always use some more screws for my projects. What are you in for today? Let me see what you have. Okay. Borax, iron ingot, sprocket, shotgun, grenade, 
Defense cog, stamina cog, and health chip. I don't think I really want any of these now. I already have the War Axe Blueprint. I don't think I want anything else right now. I want to save up for the uh, chip upgrade. Okay, so crafting table. I believe this actually works kind of like Minecraft rules, where if you don't, if you don't have the blueprint, you can still put the materials in and craft it that way. Not a hundred percent sure. Let's try it actually. So we're gonna use. Select the blueprint, blueprint to automatically fill the crafting table. So there's the war axe. So it's ingot, sprocket, ingot, scrap, stick, scrap, stick, stick. Okay. Okay. Whoops. I just want to see if you can do this. Hey, yo, Raid? <laughs> I actually have to go back to the chatting screen because this is on uh, display capture and not game capture, so bear with me. Hey, Citrus, thank you for the raid. Let me give you a real quick shout-out. Citrus Overlord, let me see what you were doing. You were doing some VR chat? Nice. I, I have VR chat installed. I have never opened it. I, oh, that is my desktop. Whoops. It's fine. There should be nothing on my desktop that's too incriminating other than how fucking messy it is. <laughs> no worries, no worries. It's not like I have porn set as my desktop um, right now. <laughs> Okay, so that should give us the War Axe. That's right. Need to get Dead Island 2. I I have Dead Island 1. I didn't like it very much, to tell you the truth. Let me know if 2 is any better. Saw a model that had goggles that reminded me you of me? Aww. Build combinations will result in a loss of every selected material. Yes. Hey, it worked. Okay, so you can totally use foreknowledge to craft things without a blueprint. Okay, that is cool. It just sucks that it, it takes the materials if you uh, if you don't know it. Because my first time playing this, I actually got a blueprint that I missed this time. It was back in the tutorial area. So I may actually run back and get it. But we got ourselves a war axe. Which does triple the damage of our sword. For a lot more stamina, too. Maybe we'll try this for a little bit. Lana! Look! There she is! Alma! Can't believe it's really you. Vana. Things have been... Very bad since you and Raquel disappeared. Your memory seems to be scrambled after all this, huh? So, let me start from the beginning. Everything changed years ago, when a meteor crashed into the city of Arcadia. The meteor contained a form of energy called Anima that gave all automatons consciousness. The humans fled from the city, and we, the automatons, started living around here. Still, a few humans continued to live with us. One of them was Dr. Zephyrina. She fought alongside the automatons and even created some of us. Not every automaton trusted her, but we did. We're happy for a while. I 
However, the doctor feared that the humans could come back for the power of the meteor. So, she and her students took five shards from the meteor to study them. She then gave these shards to the five automatons that she trusted the most around the city. Then, humans attacked. We were overwhelmed in battle. And that was when I last saw you and Raquel. And suddenly, that thing appeared in the sky and sealed away the meteor. With the crater tower in place, the humans cowardly started stripping us of our consciousness. Our anima started running out, and those who lost it completely, first they went missing, or unsighted as we called them. When they came back for us, we saw what happened. They became rogue automatons that have no consciousness and only crave for anima. However, not all automatons went unsighted. Not yet. Me, Olga, and the others are trying to do something about it. We still have plenty of anima left in our bodies. We tried to get inside the crater tower, but... It's guarded by... those creatures. Olga thinks the humans are using anima to create them. And the only way to defeat them would be using the energy of the meteor, anima itself. what we're trying to do. Those five meteor shards the doctor was studying, they're still around. With their power, we can create a weapon capable of destroying those creatures and entering the crater tower. The only problem now is getting past the automatons that the Doctor entrusted the shards to. Asana, the ancient deity. Hid inside the garden caves to protect their shard. Luna, the light manipulator. She's been keeping us away from the museum with her illusions. Maria, the Lady of Frost. She secured one of the shards inside the frozen aquarium. Romateu, Rider of the Wind. The doctor trusted them a lot. The last time we saw them, they were on the highways. And finally, Project Nova. A group of the doctor's students took a shard to create a powerful automaton in the factory. But they never confirmed if it was a success. This is a lot like if Final Fantasy and Mega Man had a steamy one-night stand. Not wrong! You're not wrong. I would liken it more to like Mega Man and Zelda, personally. But it's like a weird post-apocalyptic Mega Man. So it's like Mega Man's... You know what? It's Mega Man Zero. It's Mega Man Zero. Robots are the good guys, humans are assholes. It's Mega Man Zero plus The Legend of Zelda. And I'm into it. say the hardest Souls game is Sekiro. Honestly, haven't played Sekiro. I need to. It's on Steam. I just don't know if I can actually stream it. And honestly, since I've started streaming again, not being able to stream a game really kind of dampers my hype for it. So, gotta get new PC. Can't stream from a potato all the time. Let me take a little sippy. Hmm. We can't confirm it, but... There's a possibility that they've all gone unsighted by this point. So, we can't just go and ask them to give us the shards. Yeah, you got it. Also, outside of here, the city is infested with unsighted. It's very dangerous. I'm trying to protect everyone here in the village, but 
might not last much longer. Well, then you showed up, Alma. You were created by the Doctor to be the perfect automaton to fight the humans, even surpassing Raquel. Uh, that's why we think you're our last hope. You don't have to do this, but... No. No, I won't give up. Even if this is too much for me to bear at the moment. No matter what it takes to save us, I'll do it. What they... The humans are doing, it's too cruel. And... My gut tells me that I can't give up on Raquel just yet. Even if my memories are way too blurry right now, I feel like I have to find her. And I bet she's in there. In the crater tower. Alma, grown so much. We'll collect these shards, we can fight on equal footing with them. Thank you. Don't worry, Vanna. I'll keep her safe. What? Do you plan on going too, Iris? Yeah. I'm glad for everything you did to me here in the village. But, you know, there's something I'm looking for. Yeah, I you know. Together with Alma, I might be able to find them. Okay, I won't stop you. Just be careful, you two, okay? Once you find all the meteor shards, Olga might be able to craft you a new weapon. One capable of entering the crater tower. I'd rather play Neo since it's Charm 2. No one know about these games. Uh, Neo has honestly been on my radar since it came out the first time. Like, since Neo 1 came out, I'm like, ooh, we were talking, like, Asian-inspired Dark Souls with, like, yokai and shit? Yeah, I'm into that. But, like I said, my computer's a potato. <laughs> I can't stream Risk of Rain with my model up because my computer doesn't like it. And even without it, my, you know, Risk of Rain turns my frame rate into a slideshow. But that might just be Risk of Rain, honestly. It's not very well optimized once you get to stupid levels. I'll mark the locations of the shards on your map, Alma. Meteor Shard 1, underground in the caves. Meteor Shard 2, underground in the museum. Also, Meteor Shard 2 underground in the aquarium. Meteor Shard 4 on the upper level in the highways. And Meteor Shard 5 on the surface in the factory. You don't have to follow the order I've marked on your map. It's just a suggestion. Good luck out there. So, yeah. Um, you can theoretically get these in most any order. But they recommend that order because there's some Metroidvania elements. So, like, I'll have to get an upgrade to get to this one, which will have an upgrade that lets me get to one of these. That kind of thing. So there is a set path, but you can sequence break it. So we'll see what we can do with that. Hey, Alma, do you need anything? Okay, so this is something that needs pointing out. Right now, you notice that we have a few new HUD elements. Upper right, we have the current time, 9.08 a.m., and day one. So we are officially on the clock. If you look over at Vama's portrait, you can see she has one heart out of four. Um, there is some, not dating sim mechanics, but some, some light, like, um, give people gifts to get things in return mechanics. And yeah, Vana has 511 hours remaining before she goes unsighted. Um, as far as I know, I did I did watch a spoiler for your review of this game. The only gift you can give is Meteor Dust, and it always increases the time they have left. So if you want to complete people's quests, uh, you're on the clock. Get some Meteor Dust and go find them. Yes, and Juck hit it right. Every major NPC has a time limit. As a matter of fact, once I step out the front door, I have a time limit. I have a time limit, and if I don't complete the game in that time limit, I'm done. Let's get some advice. I think it'd be wise for you to head to Natalia's distress signal first. You haven't told me about that yet. Speaking of sequence breaking. The equipment she was carrying will be useful for you. But hey, this is shiny. Hey, don't touch that! This weapon, the doctor used it, or she passed away. 
Okay, fine. I'll leave your keepsake. Oh, also, if you want some advice... Didn't I just ask you for advice and you told me about something I didn't know about yet? A friend of ours, Natalia, was heading for our village with a new piece of equipment to help us find the meteor shards. However, we haven't heard from her lately. I'll mark on your map the location of the last signal we received from her. I fear something might have happened. If you can find out what happened, that'd be nice. And the equipment will certainly help you. Yeah, we'll we'll check that out. Welcome to the Gear Village. It's a pretty neat place. Hey, so... I don't know if Vana was clear enough, but... We won't last forever. Our anima is constantly running out. Yours too. And we'll all go unsighted eventually if we don't do something about the crater tower. You can see how much time you have left on the pause screen, or every time you enter a new area. Whenever you talk to another automaton, you'll see how much time they have left. Just like you see my remaining time now. 191 hours! Jesus Christ, Iris! Every one of us has a different amount of anima still left in our bodies. If the time of an automaton runs out, they'll become unsighted. But I hope it doesn't come to this. And we have 325 hours. Do my best. Unsighted is a game with time limits. The gameplay and story are designed around them. If this makes you uncomfortable, you can disable them. You can toggle this action anytime in the pause menu. We are not going to disable them. Ah, thank you for the hydrate. I was drinking Dr. Pepper, but I have actual water here because I am a good girl. Thank you, Warhorse. Now, we're going to play with time limits until they start becoming a problem. Then we might turn them off or we might just take the fail state. I'm counting on you, Alma. Let's go after that distress signal Vana showed us. It might be wise to get this piece of equipment Vana was talking about before searching for the shards. Hey, buddy, you look important. Oh, it's you. It's really you. Hey, hi. Sorry, you are... Oh, I'm Tobias. Oh, you don't look like you remember me, though. I own the pet shop. I take care of dogs and such. However, since the last battle with the humans, my dogs went missing. If you happen to find them, can you bring them to me? I'll see what I can do. Hope they're doing well. It's so dangerous out there. I'm waiting for you in the pet shop, Alma. How are you doing, Alma? And like finding the dogs out there? Wish I could go out adventuring with you, but I'm a little busy. Huh, this is gonna sound silly, I know, but... See, my whole life I've been amazed by those little fluffy angels. Every time I tried to pet one, they would get scared. It's really hard to do it with these arms, you know. So I decided that I would make myself an arm capable of rubbing their soft bellies. It's far from finished, you see. But one day... One day I'll rub their bellies. That is a noble goal. I hope you achieve it. I'm also going to smash up your shop a little. I hope you don't mind. It's you. Oh, hey. Sorry, I don't think I remember you. No, oh, it's me, Samuel. <laughs> don't worry. Vana told me you couldn't even remember her at first. 
We used to watch a lot of old human tapes together. You loved it. Especially the anime, remember? Uh, I think I do. A little bit. If any NPC who runs an item shop and a weapon shop turns unsighted, they'll basically be fucked at that point. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to keep all them alive. Um, the reason I'm running around talking to everybody is because they actually do keep, like, a, um, a contacts list in your pause menu, and you can see who has what time remaining. So you can actually, like, determine who you need to give Meteor Dust to first. Um, there is also the fact that, um, a lot of these people will have quests, and when you complete the quest, which is usually giving them more Meteor Dust, you'll get a reward. And the reward is usually pretty good. Since you disappeared, I started researching human technology. And my main specialties are computers and chips. If you need some extra chips, I can provide them to you. Thanks, Samuel. Hi there, Alma. You need any chips? Health, stamina, strength, green. Increases bolts acquired by 100%, but loser, user loses everything when defeated. Hmm. Risky, risky. We'll consider it later. Right now, we're going to have to upgrade our chip slot first. Feel free to use my chip terminal to, exper to equip and experiment with different chips. There's even a punching bag for you to test your strength and combat capabilities with the chips. Hey. Let's ask about them. Chips are used to enhance your abilities. They're chips for all kinds of different effects. It's important to experiment with them all. The catch is that your chipboard may not have enough space for all your chips. You have to keep upgrading it at terminals. Also, if you have enough space for two identical chips, you can equip them both to have their effects amplified. Neat, huh? I can sell you some chips that I'm crafting here, but to be honest, it's better if you look for them in the ruins of the city. You can find all sorts of chips that were used by the automatons that lived in Arcadia back then. There are even certain automatons that are able to create copies of chips. Oh, and do you know any of them? Well, I do, but I don't like him. I don't even know where he is anymore. And to be honest, I'm not really into this chip copying thing. I prefer to have the original ones. I see. Well, I'll try to find them on my own. Thanks for the advice, Sam. Yep, chip terminal, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Ah, hey, careful with that. This chipboard, I'm not done making it. When it's finished, it'll make it possible to equip chips anywhere, instead of only at terminals. I hope I'll have enough time to finish this research. Yep, there you go. Now, all of these guys also have some uh, some time remaining, but these are all incidental NPCs, so I don't think we can save them. I really miss the suburbs. I spent most of my time there. Maybe we all have to hide here. I want to go back to my home. Okay. Can I... Chip manager protocols, access granted. You can equip. Okay, I can equip them, but I can't upgrade them or anything. So... We're going to avoid that for now. There's a terminal in the city that we can use to upgrade our chipboard. Enlightening conversation. Training center. Nobody in here. Let's see. Oh, no. You are an important NPC. You just don't have anything to say to me. <laughs> Alma. What really is you? You don't seem to remember me, huh? I am Master Cecilia. I am Raquel's former master. Even before you trained with her. If you need some combat training, just talk to me. Oh, you forgot some of your combat abilities. You won't get far out there unless you master the parry. You wish to train your parry abilities? Yeah, why not? Well, let us begin. Pressing B just before an enemy hits you will stun them. Use this opening to your advantage and hit them back for critical damage. Try it now. 
time will not advance during parry training. Wonderful. That was not the right button. Great. Now try parrying projectile attacks. Whenever you parry a projectile, you'll send it right back to your enemy. It's an often advantageous move to take in a chaotic situation. Try it now. Nice. We're doing fine, but this is not enough. Certain foes are somewhat resistant to parries. To stun them, it might be necessary to parry multiple attacks consecutively. Try it. weird on this guy. There we go. There we are. Well done, Alma. Here, I'll give you a few bolts as a reward. Hey, 500 bucks. Nice. You are now ready to face a somewhat more advanced parry challenge. If you are interested, just let me know. I'll have it ready for you at once. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Hopefully time won't advance while we're doing it. Well met, young warrior. What are you here for? Parry challenge. So you're up for more, huh? Good. Let us see how many foes you can parry before getting hit. Okay, time won't advance. Great. Um, I think the number to beat... It's on the board down below. It's like 80 or something like that. If I can't get it, I'll try it like twice. If I can't get it, I might grind it off stream. Not a perfect parry. That doesn't count. Come on. Ah, uh, now comes the hard part. Well done, Alma. Keep at it and you're sure to become even stronger and more agile. Wait, right, do you wish to try again? Nah, not right now. I'll do that off stream. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Hmm. I actually needed that. Uh, shoulders are stiff from work today. A lot of lifting. Okay. I'll do that off stream. It's certainly possible. Like... The parry timing is actually pretty generous, but it's the ones that take multiples that are really weird. Um, and the timing's different for each enemy, so of course you gotta learn that. Hey, Alma. <laughs> That's a terrible voice for him, I'm sorry. <clears throat> hey, Alma. Well, it really is you. My sister told me you were alive. I couldn't believe it. Uh, Ari, who are you again? Oh, girl, okay. 
Let's start from the beginning. I'm Ariel. I make and sell weapons for the automatons. My sister is Vanna. You do remember her, right? Oh, yeah, okay, now I get it. Nice. My sister does not like my weapons, you know? She prefers to fight barefisted. But I know you. You're a master of both swords and guns. I am? Well, you sure used to be. But I'm sure he'll be back in shape soon. So if you need weapons, you can find him here. Hey, oh, it's you, Alma. What do you need? Okay, so I can buy another blaster if I wanted for some reason. Grenade launcher, shotgun, auto blaster. Um, this is the blueprint that I missed in the first area. So we can just straight up make that. War axe, flame blade. Oh, okay, elemental weapons, nice. Hey, be careful there, Alma. The weapon I've been working on for a while. It's powers from all the elements. Fire, thunder, and ice. But it's not ready yet. I hope I'll have enough time to finish it. Alright, so... Alma! I can't believe it! Anna, it's you! Oh, you, you remember me? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I got a little carried away. You, me, uh, I'm so happy you're back. Oh, she has a crush. Hey, Vault, welcome. If you need any materials for your crafting projects, I can sell them to you. You know, I love collecting stuff from the human ruins. Alma, it's you. Quack. Do you need something? Quack. What do you sell? Scrap, oil, coils, sprockets, ingots, ice crystals. One of them. A key. Okay, so this is your standard early Dark Souls shop sells a key that you need later. So, neat. I'll have to remember that she has that. Here's the terminal. So first of all, new chip slot, yes. And then let's equip some chips. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna remove the stamina chip and equip the strength chip. So we've got strength, vampire, and runner. Um, runner is probably never gonna be taken off ever, just because no stamina cost for sprinting. Come on. That's so good they made it a feature in Elden Ring. And we'll recharge, why not? Cool. Uh, let's see, that's the pet shop. Ah, uh, hello. This is the blacksmith shop. I have to sneeze! <coughs> really, just one? Okay. Normally I go for four. You look interesting. Oh, howdy. Welcome to the cog farm, dear. I'm Teresa, and I'm helping Vana and the others with my effect cogs. What, you don't remember about cogs? Okay, sweetie, I'll teach you about them. Cogs can give you temporary buffs. It's really neat. There, you can have these two as a treat. Attack Cog increases damage dealt by melee weapons by 33%, and Defense Cog protects the user from taking damage. These aren't that hard to come by, so you don't have to hold on to them for too long. Just use them. Olga has some blueprints for Cogs in there. I should she go in and take a look. Or if you just want to buy some, I can sell them to you. Thanks, Teresa. I'll give them a try. So let me go to the cogs and see here. So attack cog. Uh, okay. So I don't have any slots for these. You can only carry four. I'm assuming there's more than that because you have an option to destroy them. So if I turn it on, my next 20 attacks are going to deal 33% more damage. 
And if I turn this on, the next three times I get hit, I take no damage. So, these might be good to have. Um, but I don't think it's something we're going to want to have on all the time. I tend to be a resource hoarder. You know, if you've watched me play Final Fantasy, you know I never use my Mega Elixirs ever. But they're nice to have. And I'll do my best to get some use out of them. Really? Nothing hidden? There's a chest up there. I want that. How do I get that? I can, I can get up here easy enough. Can I then jump to it? Yeah, okay, yes I can. I just went too far. Alright, chest, what do you got for me? Meteor dust! Increases an automaton's time by 24 hours. Ooh, some meteor dust! These are full of anima. Enough to increase your remaining time by 24 hours. Or you can try giving it to someone else. Oh, well, this will certainly be helpful. But I'll think about it. There's always someone in more need than me. If you really want to use it on yourself, you can try it on the pause menu. I can now sense where other meteor dust are. The signal will indicate that meteor dust is nearby. You can disable the radar in the options menu. We will not be disabling that radar. I don't care if it cheapens the experience or whatever. I'm not turning it off. And that's water. I don't think we can go through here with just our current equipment. Let's try exploring somewhere else. Now that I wish you could turn off. You don't mind items when I'm playing Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so there is meteor dust there. You can see it on the upper right. You can see the little ping. So there's meteor dust in there, but we can't get to it now. Or down below. Okay, it's over there, but I can't get to that right now because you're a robot. You can't stand on lily pads. Alright, so I have to find another way to get to that meteor dust. I can put pins in here? Okay. Put a pin there. And a pin there to let me know that there's still meteor dust there. Can't get through there. That switch to open it, I just have to come from the south. So that's that's uh, open later kind of thing. All right, and with that, we're um hopefully ready to move on. I can probably go for about another hour before I have to pack it in. Meteor dust, upper left. Good to know. We'll go for that first. Yeah, get fucked. Get fucking wrecked, mate. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Shadow clone jutsu. Get fucked. Die. Shit. Hit him. Hit him. God damn it. No, you're good, Len. I'm just dying. No, Alma, come back to us. And there goes four hours off my timer. And 298 bolts. 
All right. For a moment there, I thought we were really done for. I forget that you can parry enemy attacks by pressing B. Yeah, but parrying the fucking clones does nothing. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. So, we lost half of our money. We still have 298 bolts, or screws, or whatever you want to call them. So maybe that greed chip isn't so bad, because it just makes you... Excuse me. It just makes you drop all of your bolts. It doesn't actually say, okay, you died, you lost everything. All right. Ouch, fucker. I need to ask you a question. All right, so let's try this again. Ah, all right, this is... Those guys are rough. Get your ass down here. Ow! God damn it. The timing on this is really weird. God damn it. Okay, so I didn't actually lose any time there. It doesn't actually take four hours off. It's just that it took me four hours of in-game time to get there and die. And this is why we have the run chip on and we're never taking it off. Because guess what we get to do a lot of? You know what? I'm going to try something, actually. Let me... Give me my sword back. It does less damage, but it's also a lot faster. Bring it on, motherfucker. Oh, you're not going to attack. Asshole. Come on. is not so hard. Get wrecked. Alright, so I gotta get up there somehow. How do I do that? Can't climb the giant hand. Can I not get that yet? I'll be upset. Oh, no, I can get there with this. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just a path through. Okay. 
All right, well, hey, progress. Progress has been made. Not much progress, but progress. And that looks like everything up to the north. So it looks like the strategy is to stun their clones and then rush them down. Hello. Or just rush their asses down. Oh, that's, that's, that's a big lad. That's a big lad. Oh. So, this is it, huh? Don't worry, Joanna. Be back soon enough. Why does it have to be you? Joanna thinks she can control us. It's not fair. You don't have to do it just because she asked. Hey, it's not about her. I'm doing this because I want to. There are some of us that ha out there that haven't gone unsighted yet. They deserve a chance, too, and I'm going to help them. Okay, this guy is obviously uh, Zeke Meyer of Katarina with the tragic quest where he doesn't succeed. And from all automatons left in the village, I'm probably one of the most qualified to do so. It's so scary around here without you. I'll say there's fucking ninjas in the woods! Don't worry, Joanna. I'm gonna be back. I love you. I love you, too. We have sent him off to his death. Gabi, is he ever going to come back? He went to the outpost on the industrial sector west of here. Oh, shit! Gabi's a girl? May have to change that voice. Lana told her to deliver some weapons to the automatons there. You know, the ones that haven't gone unsighted yet. If... If you happen to go to the industrial sector, can you check on her for me? Yeah, I absolutely will. Alright, so... Meteor dust up there. Take that, thank you. Gotta run around this way... Okay, question. You can pick these up. Alright, I think I see how we have to solve this puzzle. Uh, okay. We got this. Oh, hang on. Ah, you thought you could hide from me, motherfucker. Sweet! Meteor dust! And a chest that I can't unlock. Unless I can move very, very quickly. Nope. Okay. Doesn't work like that. Hey, it's Cat. Welcome. Welcome to Lesbian Robot Simulator. So far, I've met two romantic couples, including myself and my long lost love, and all of us are lesbians. Hello, Meteor Dust. Well, that was easy. Sweet! 
I guess, you know, if with the, something that's going to be as abundant as that for quest purposes, some of it just has to be free. Oh, big lad. Um. Ow. And a ninja. Get fucked. off God damn it Back to the bonfire And it's time to run past all the enemies <laughs> You can't catch me. I am too fast. That's not the right way, though. God damn, you're actually really quick when you run. Okay. You know what? Let's just fight you by yourself. Okay, come over here. Not a perfect. That was a perfect. Do it again. Nice. Okay. That's a fucking tiger. Where's the ninja? guys aren't too terribly hard except for the fact that they are obviously like I don't know oh you can shoot it from up here okay all right cool and love the reload Another terminal! Sweet! What a bike! Nice Akira reference. You can use this to teleport to the other terminals you visited. This way we can go back to the village easily whenever we want. Nice. Uh, I also gotta put a pin here. Because it's not meteor dust, but there's something there I want. Hey, this... I can remember it. It's the bike Doctor used to ride. It doesn't seem to be working anymore. That's unfortunate. Terminal activated. Recharge. Oh yeah, the art in this game is fucking gorgeous. Like, definitely on Alma, but like all the art so far is actually really gorgeous. Okay, well... Cool, so we got that. Let me teleport... Let me actually teleport over here so I can get that blueprint that I missed, which is in this area. We'll get that real quick. Can I... I can't... I can't teleport to that one for some reason. Okay, never mind. We'll go the long way around. Hopefully we get back there before too long. But I can teleport back to the village if I want. Upgrade stations... I don't have any more blueprints. It's a pity I just don't remember what the um, the combination for that auto blaster was. No, 
All right. Easy enemies. We'll take it. There's also meteor dust here somewhere. Alma, look out! It's that thing again! I don't think it's safe for us to go this way. Let's try to find another path. Oh, fuck you. So there's meteor dust down there. Part of me wants to just go for it. Thank you. I'm out. Well, I got all the stuff. <laughs> I got all the stuff. Oh, and you have an option to go back to the Gear Village. Okay, that's nice. That's okay. We're on Dark Souls rules. Yeah, I, I made it out. We're good. We're good. So I got the meteor dust. I got the item down there. Cool. I'll. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Classic Dark Souls strategy. Run in, get the items, and then die. Is it Sapphic Dark Souls? Sapphic Robot Dark Souls. Sapphic Robot Dark Souls, and you have to be good at parrying or you will not succeed. Log 03. I can't give up now. I promised Vana that I would deliver this piece of equipment to the Gear Village. I wasn't expecting this many unsighted around here. Things have gotten way worse than I imagined. I'm sorry, Vana. My. It's Natalia. She didn't make it. The piece of equipment that Vana mentioned, the one Natalia was delivering to us, it must be around here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look for that. I bet you it's in that chest. Hop, hop. Okay. No, it's just a stamina chip. Okay. One, two, three, four. This is going to be a boss. Five. Hey, high jump boots. Nice. Hey, it's the high jump boots. It's what Vana was talking about. 
Be careful! Ouch. You know what? Eat damage. Nice. Alma, are you okay? Alma, talk to me. I kicked its ass. What are you talking about? I I wrecked that motherfucker. Oh boy, it's our girlfriend and the other girl. Aren't you afraid, Raquel? What? This new girl. I've heard she's way more capable than you in combat. Falling for Advana. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Hey, I'm back. I just finished showing the meteor crater to Alma. Raquel, can you help her with the sword training? Uh oh, we have a crush. I'll say hi, Alma. We're your friends. Hello. Hi. I won't go easy on you. I certainly hope not. Mommy, I mean, mommy. I mean, mommy. Ah, you're back! Oh, my head, it hurts. What happened here? I dozed off after the explosion. I was so worried. Do you feel better now? Yeah. I think. The automaton you just defeated. It was guarding the high jump boots. I think it's better if you keep them. With the high jump boots, we should be able to explore the city further in search of the meteor shards. There are two meteor shards near here. One in the underground caves and one in the museum. We should probably try to get these meteor shards first. I'll mark the locations of these areas on your map. Caves? Cool. Museum up there. Well, the first thing we want to do is, uh, go to the fucking... You know what? I'm gonna equip B, and I'm going to equip the War Axe and the Blaster. Okay. So we can fast swap loadouts. Nice. Jump towards the wall to climb it. Brilliant. Wallet chip. Don't lose bolts when defeated. Okay, I can see that having some use for farming purposes. Okay, so here... Okay, that's the caves. We're gonna go there first, but I want to get back to here to get that thing I forgot. And hopefully be able to teleport out. And that might be where I end it for tonight, actually. Hey, look over there! Uh, I'm sorry, you are terrifying. It appears that she's not unsighted. Interesting.
Get fucked. Can I jump this? No, but I can go up here. Uh, I don't know if I want to follow her yet. I'm just going to put a pin in that, actually. I'm not kidding. Her design is actually kind of frightening, and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe a little suspicious. Get wrecked. Try it again. Oh, okay, that's the path up, so what's down here? Keep wanting to hit right trigger to dash. Secrets. Bullet chip. Increase the damage of long range weapons. That could be useful. Um, I will say one thing that they tell you. I forget where they tell it to you. It's a piece of lore I found in, in the beginning, my first, like, my little trial run. Um, automatons are very resistant to bullets, just by virtue of being artificial. So your guns are never going to deal all that much damage. But I suppose you could build for it. Central Square. Okay, there's a locked door here. There's a couple places to explore. Oh, hello. Try it again, motherfucker. Oh, okay, never mind. You actually got me. Serves me right. Pirate ship, what would I do without you? Probably die a lot more often. Oh, oh, hello. Many guys. Bring it on. Oh, that was the wrong button, but it worked. Okay. So I don't have a key. It's obviously some kind of a big puzzle. All right. I'm missing something here. Maybe I can't do it yet? Or maybe, can I push this? I can push this? What? Okay. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I need to push this into a place where I can hit it. Oops. Push it into a place where I can hit it with from everywhere. I like that. And we get a key! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but we don't want to go there. We want to go here first. But hey, you know what? Key. Uh. Motherfuck, I cannot get back until I can destroy those. Either that or I can go around, maybe. Well, okay, fuck it. Let's, let's try the key. Meteor dust. Ah, okay. Okay, so the dust is just right there in the open. I just gotta figure out how to get to it. That was not the right button. Hey, look! Something happened here. Looks like there was a battle involving one of those creatures. It's a blood trail, too. Maybe one of those creatures escaped there after being hurt? Uh, let's not. Like, I'm sure we'll have to eventually, but let's not right now. Again. Oh fuck. I think it's safe for us to go this way. Let's try to find another path. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Uh revive cog? Okay. I'm out. Okay, I'm actually in one-hit kill territory, so I'm a little worried. I'm just going to put a pin in that meteor dust. Jumper chip increases jump attack damage by 50. You can jump attack in this game. Hello? We're gonna come back and. Okay, we can't get through there. We literally can't get back to this section of the map yet. Damn it. I guess that's why we can't teleport there. All right, I'm out. I am so out. So I gotta go down. I gotta go back to this area, and then the caves are down there. Or actually, can I go? No, I can't go right. Okay. Well, let's go the fuck back to that terminal before I fucking die. My verdict on the game so far, it is really fucking hard. But the pixel art is beautiful. The music is... If I'm being honest, the music is nothing special, but it's certainly not bad. Um, I like it. Get really good at parrying is my advice if you want to try this game yourself. Get really fucking good at parrying as fast as you can because you need to do it. Otherwise, you will die. Okay, so this is the room with the big dude. 
It's also the room with the cave's entrance. But I can go in and here and heal at least. Alright. Recharge. Recharge complete. Uh, new chip slot. Yes, please. Equip chips. So, let me see what I've got. Um... I'm gonna throw a stamina chip on. Um, the health chip is tempting, but I've found that as long as I have a little bit of stamina left, I can usually dodge out of the way. Poison swamp someplace? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so I can teleport back to the village if I want, but I'm gonna see... Let me... Very, very carefully. And by that I mean running like a bitch. Okay. Nope. Caves are not that way. Alright. But the caves are where it expects me to go first. So I guess it's here? So I guess maybe we will teleport back. And let me check and see if my contacts, if anybody's, like, immediately dying. Because I do have four dust. 169 on that guy. 169 on Iris. 89 hours on Teresa? I may have to give her some dust. Not yet. But it's good to know that, um... I do have to, like, think about her immediately. Alright. So I can go straight down here. There we go. Get wrecked. What's with the hours? Okay, so if you missed the story so far, all of us robots are granted consciousness by this energy called Anima, which is emanating from a meteor that landed in the center of the city. Uh, the humans wanted to take that for themselves, so they put this giant fucking reactor tower over it that's blocking us from getting it. The number of hours remaining is the number of hours before all of us revert back to just being mindless killing machines. So... If I don't give that old woman some meteor dust in the next 89 hours of in-game time, she will become hostile. And I mean, hostile old woman doesn't sound like too bad, except she has a fucking mech suit. Alright, okay, there's the cave's entrance, but we have a, we have a screen to explore here. Hello. Caves. Oh, big, big beetle. Ow. Oh, God. I suppose it's not really that far away from the village, so if I need to, I can just run from there to here. Let's see what's over here, though. already see the ninjas. Bring it on. And by bring it on, I mean please murder me. Damn it. I don't know. I can't heal. I've got one point left. Oh, boy. Shh. 
shit. Oh, I can heal. Thank God. Fuck. Yeah, combat is, uh, simple. It's simple. It's not very deep. Goddamn, uh, is it not easy in the slightest. Okay. Push that, but it doesn't do anything for me. I can get up here now, though. But that doesn't help me. Can't shoot that from there. Okay, um. I really should be able to just go through there. But I guess I need another upgrade to go through there. So let me actually. Let me actually go back to this screen. Or actually not this screen, the one above it. I've got to take out some more fucking ninjas, but I can get something on this screen now. Hello. Got that one, that one. I gotta go up and around to get something. Could have just gone this way. No, well, that's good to know. All right, cool. We get another orb. So if I just nope, Can I not throw that up there. No, I can't. see what I gotta do. Can't jump up there while holding it either. Please save me from the madness of my own making. What did I what did I miss? What are you doing, Vault? Why do we need to save you from the madness? Yeah, what are you doing? Better be worth it, motherfucker. Sword chip increases damage for swords by 20? Ayo? That's actually really good. Kill the squirrel. Let's get to the caves. I don't have much time left to stream tonight, so I'm going to try to get to the next terminal. Uh, it helps if I go the right direction. This rock is going to break or the wall is... What? I am confused. Hey, a terminal. Presence? Can you feel it?
Yeah. They're guarding the meteor shard somewhere around here. Asana. They were worshipped by the humans a long time ago. They said they were the most advanced AI of their time. What happened? Let's find them. Actually, let's not. Let me just uh, remove you and put you on. Because that one increased the damage of swords by two. This one increases the damage of swords by 20. So... We're going to be doing a shitload of damage with this sword now. Probably more than the axe. And we'll explore a little bit, but not too much, because like I said, I can't I can't stay too long tonight. Looks like we've got some kind of a jumping puzzle in this room. Can I push these? Yes, I can. All right. Can I jump on these? I can. Attack cog blueprint. Hey, an effect cog blueprint. You should try to craft this one on a nearby crafting table. Having effect cogs is always useful, especially to get through tough encounters. I suppose I can see what it takes, anyways. Right, use a blueprint. Attack cog. Hey, four scrap metal. That's really simple. There's... Honestly, there's probably no reason I shouldn't be using that almost constantly, if that's how cheap it is. But I already have one. I do not, however, have a key. Interesting. Stamina cog increases total stamina by 50%. And that has two minutes. It's not uses, that's minutes. Okay, cool. Neat. Yeah, I get wrecked. Displacer beast looking motherfucker. Can't push you or anything. Oh, okay, you guys attack fast, okay. Noted. Interesting. You also are such minor enemies that you literally don't trigger battle music. Charges syringe faster. Okay. That actually might be a strong contender to replace the vampire chip. We'll have to see.
I can also go right here, but that actually looks like progress, so fuck progress. Meteor dust! After what feels like five minutes, woo, we halfway there. Your internet restarted again. Fuck. I think I gotta run and jump this. Interesting. make that jump? Yes, I can. Do it. Fine. understand how I'm supposed to get that. You playing some Dark Souls 2? I usually do spell sword build in Dark Souls 2 because I feel like if you're specifically going swords and magic, oh boy. Ow. Ow. Okay. Do it. Anyways, if you're specifically doing swords and magic, I think Dark Souls 2 is the best game for it. There we go. Oh. You survived a critical attack. Got a revive cog, but I can't carry anymore. Disassemble this item and collect bolts from it. Oh, shit. I thought you had, like, a cog inventory. Uh, okay, hang on a second.
I just realized I probably did something stupid because I did not get bolts from that. Okay, well, I'll know for the future. I should actually use those cogs. All right, shortcut unlocked. And I think that's probably actually gonna do it for me tonight. Because I have work at 10 a.m. and I want to get a little bit of a snack before I go to bed. So I think um, I really like this game. Like now that I'm getting the hang of the parry and I've realized that the sword is fucking overpowered. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm definitely going to be continuing with it. I've also been thinking, I know um, I started Ender Lilies and I almost finished Bug Fables but then Ghost Song came out and I kind of abandoned them. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to those. I need to think on that. I need to think if I want to go back and finish those up because while they're both good games, they're also kind of old hat for me. Um, but this is like my jam. This is really good so far. My only worry is the goddamn time limit and the fact that I'm probably going to have to shovel some... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to shovel some fucking <laughs> meteor dust into Teresa here. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good time with this. I am definitely going to continue with this. Uh, but for now, I'm going to hop back over to the chatting screen, and we are going to find someone to raid. So let me quit out of here. If any of you guys have somebody you specifically want me to raid, feel free to suggest. Or if you've got the points, you can just tell me to do it. But I am going to uh, go check this out. Good night, Azari. Thank you again for getting me that game. Thank you again because that's really it's really good, and I I want to continue with it. Like it's super good. I don't know what else to say. You got someone? Uh, drop their name in chat. Raku, Lily. Let me see who on my friends list is live. Paradigm Ship 13. Um, what do you I for? Zigawatt is live with Risk of Rain 2, so that's definitely an idea. Pitiful Almond is live with Dead by Daylight with even less viewers. Let me let me see what Paradigm Shift is doing before I make a decision. Paradigm Shift 13. I like meeting new people too. What are you playing? Load, Twitch. Playing Destiny. I don't know if I want to send you guys over to Destiny. If you've got the points, I'll, I'll definitely do it. But if you don't have the points, I think I'm going to send us over to Ziga because Ziga is a good friend, another another lewd tuber who's a who's a fan, and they're playing Risk of Rain, which I love. So I think fair. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will drop Paradigm Shift a follow. Let me let me go back real quick. I'm going to drop them a follow, but I'm going to raid Zigawatt. There we go. All right, so hey, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Um, Unsighted will definitely make a return next week because that was a lot of fun. Um, I might see you on Friday if you're into what I do on Fridays. If not, I will catch you on the flip side. Thank you again for hanging out. And sorry this was a little bit shorter than usual. Next week, hopefully, we'll be able to schedule a little bit better. Have a good night, everybody. Love you all. Mm.